Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And I will be reacting to the most disgusting, despicable American, ungrateful American I have ever met. And I have no idea how this individual rose to fame. And I, honestly, I don't give two craps about it. But this mo, and I apologize, forgive you a forewarning, I will be cursing. I will be cursing. As a former veteran, if I swore to defend the Constitution and our un alienable rights that can never be taken away from us and if it if i did not believe in that stuff if i did not believe in what i swore this this man would be not here okay traitor no oh. so without further ado let's get into this ungrateful american called sam harris Um, I, you know, I've, I've always had this libertarian uh, kind of underpinning to my, my politics, which is, you know, if the private sector can handle it, it's probably best done there, right? I mean, just given the level of inefficiency and, and, and poor, poorly aligned incentives you get in a government bureaucracy. Uh, and peaceful, honest people should, be, should have the right to be left alone. You know, so it's like, if, unless somebody is harming people or... Um, you know, guilty of fraud, you know, the, the, i.e. theft, but, you, know, uh, um, you know, stealing from people. We don't need the government involved. And um, so, you know, that's my general framework. And many people ostensibly in, in this group ostensibly agreed with that. Um, so when I look at Twitter, you know, Twitter is a company that can decide to, you know, I mean, as, as someone who has started you know, information-based companies at this point. I'm just thinking about what, what is, what's the scenario under which I would want the government to force me to have Alex Jones on my podcast or to have Donald Trump on my podcast? Shouldn't I be able to have anyone I want on my podcast? Is it cons Okay, before, let me, you know, here's the thing about these companies. First, you need people, you know that, right? You need to drive traffic to you. And then once you, and this is the problem with companies and people like him. You guys start off as nothing. It's people who make you. And then when you think you got a little power, then when you think you think you are someone, you then want to decide who you can or cannot cancel. And you can't have it both ways. You cannot have it both ways. And I, I swear to God, when it comes to Twitter, Twitter. And this man, you get a little bit of power to your head and then you spew some shit like this. Danger number one. We live in America. That my podcast could grow so big or that my, you know, that any other. Exactly. Grow I, so big, which means you need platform, people. Right? If that could grow so big that suddenly the government would have an interest in forcing me to have people on it who, for whatever reason, I object. No, they're you're not. Right? They're so not forced. This, this is some. No, no, they're not forcing you to have people. You made a service, made it available to anyone. Anyone can sign up. You can't fucking just go ahead and just change the rules midway through the game. Nobody it doesn't happen that way. Okay, you made it open up for everybody. Okay, and now they say some things that you don't like. Now you want to say it's the government forcing me to keep people on my platform? No, you made it available to everyone. I swear to God, this, this, this is a way in which I'm, I'm more extreme than than most people on the left. Like I, I do think at this point in history, you should be able to have a social media platform and exclude any. No, at no point in history should you have a platform that you can exclude people. No, this is the reason why we call it the Second Amendment. You have the right to speak, and when you have something on social these social media platforms with the freaking with the safety that they get, that they're given by the government and the protections that they're given by the government, it is a public forum, okay? At no point in history should speech be censored, period. Get that through your fuck, get that through your thick skull, okay? You old fuck. Specific group you want and just say that's the way we do it, right? And if you don't like it, boycott us. 
right? So like, I, I how about we take away your your status? How about that? The Civil Rights Act. How about that? How about we take away your protective status? That right there, I bet you'll change your tune tune real quick. But at this point, I think you should have the right to be an asshole who destroys your reputation and and suffers the the, the penalties. You know? I'm glad. Thank you, Sam Harris, for fucking playing. You know, in the keep going, motherfucker. Ideas, keep going. Right? So I think if, if you want to just have a social media network for beautiful people, right, or people who are, you know, guys who are over six feet two and blonde hair and blue eyes, right, you know, I can't get on, you should feel free to, you know, raise money for that enterprise, launch it, and I'll be, you know, I'll laugh when it fails, right? So, like, that's... Now, under some construal, that kind of thing, you know, is or should be illegal, you know, if you're, if you're just a, a normal person uh, on the left, but... Uh, Wait, so that should be illegal? Making a platform for only blue hair, blue eyes, even though you just said, go ahead and do it, and you'll laugh at it if it fails. That plat- kind of platform should... This man doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. Y'all call this man intellectual? Y'all call this man intellectual? I don't think... I think at this moment in history, it shouldn't be. But in any case, I just when I look at Twitter, I see a company that has a term has terms of service which people like alex jones and trump clearly violated i mean whether they in fact violated they didn't care when they needed the people they didn't care when they needed users violated this terms of service as written i think they violated any uh, coherent terms of service that, that twitter should have had right like you you shouldn't knowingly be able to turn your mob on a private citizen and ruin their lives. What the fuck has we have we been doing for the past two years with cancel culture? Really? The party that this whole and I know he said he's not about the whole woke stuff. Yes, the hell you are. If you're calling for anybody to get canceled, you are a part of that. And yes, I have been guilty of that in the past, but then I quickly retracted because why? Why? I I, I can't have the boat. I can't have my cake and eat it too. I can't have my cake and eat it too. And this mofo, th- who the hell do you think you are? You're just a regular old man who could die at any moment. You are nobody special. Lives through doxing, right? Which is what Jones and Trump were doing. It just again and again and again to people. Every time, I mean, Jones was doing it with the Sandy Hook parents, right? You literally have... But Sam, you're conflating two very different people. I mean, Alex Jones does not belong in this Get him. Yeah. I'm not interested in Alex no, Jones. No, yeah, Get him. I would dispute that. I think Trump is essentially, we got Alex Jones as president of the United States. I don't think they're very different people. I think that it's the same phenomenon How in, so? my, in my world. Because just the, the level of, of misinformation, disinformation. I could compare your ass to Hitler with the shit you about to say. Lying, the charlatanism, the, 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 the conscious fraudulence of everything at scale and the targeting of individuals with, with, with known consequences, right? Like, like Trump, every time Trump singles out a specific citizen and says, look at this jackass who's, you know, trying to, you know, whatever, whatever the, the claim would be, that is a human sacrifice. We know that person's life is just never the same. He's just so focused on Trump. He says, N- Look at the countless people that have gotten canceled over this woke shit. You say that you're not woke, you're fucking woke. If you're asked, like I said, if you're calling for anyone to be canceled, you're fucking woke. Okay? You're not a, you're not a libertarian. You're fucking woke. Same again, because he's turned tens of millions of morons on that person. And you know, vicious morons on that. I mean, like that. I mean, that's the, the the core of the Trump phenomenon is now and has been for many years. I mean, really since the beginning. I mean, since he, you know, certainly since he became the front runner, and, and certainly since he became elected in 2016. It's a personality cult. I mean, it has all the dynamics of a personality cult. These are not reasoning. Yes, there are some. There are a few calculated people like Peter Thiel on the margins who have some story as to why they would back him, right? But the core of the cult, you know, which is all, you know, nested with QAnon and 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 uh, conspiracy thinking and the big lie and, you know, it's it, like Trump can do no wrong, right? He's, um, that is so, it's, 
I mean, as a Venn diagram, it's just, it overlaps. See, that's where he's wrong. Most people who woke up and saw what Trump was doing, they don't think like this. We all say a man said some things that weren't tasteful, but you don't listen to that. You never listen to us say that he was an asshole. But like I said, most people don't like being told the truth. Well, I never said that before. Most people don't like to being told the truth. And when they're told the truth, they're always going to look at that person like they are an asshole. None of the people I know who like Trump think that he cannot do anything wrong. They've all said that man could have had a little bit more tact, but you don't want to hear it because you cannot understand why so many people would get behind him. Maybe it has something to do with his policies. The one thing that you refuse to fucking look at. The one thing that you refuse to say that he does good at. Because wake up call, motherfucker. Biden's policies? They are killing us. Trump. Yeah, he was spending money. But while he was spending money, was inflation through the roof? Was gas this high? Maybe there was other reasons why people like Trump other than the way that he just, he, other than the shit that he spewed out of his mouth. No one I know, like I said, ever liked the man because of the shit that he said out of his mouth. He was a funny guy, but he lacked tact. But, you know... Keep on with your bull. Keep on. Keep on. Keep on. You're gonna can- you're gonna get yourself canceled. You're gonna get yourself canceled. Okay. You're gonna get yourself canceled, and that's why no one will like you. You you okay? You always say like, let the private sector fix it. All right. Challenge accepted. And with Alex, the Alex Jones phenomenon. So I just I see them as the same problem. I see these these are these are. You know, if they're not actually clinical, clinically, you know, diagnosable as psychopaths, they're the next best thing. These are people who are so malignantly selfish and so careless with respect to the consequences of their actions in the lives of others that if you if you are if you own a platform or you're you know if you're overseeing a public a, pub, a public company that owns a platform. Y'all just listen to everything that he says. Listen to everything that he says. Listen to everything that he says. And then the next video, when he says the shit that just really makes me irate, think about everything he just said. Part two.